So far, we've had pretty good success in finding resources on the internet using Gopher with Veronica and FTP with Archie. And once you've used them for a while, you'll really get the hang of refining your searches to get the best results. Even so, it's likely that you'll always get multiple responses to any query, and you might find that some of them have little, if anything, to do with what you're really after. That's because both Veronica and Archie only find matches to keywords in file names and menus. Oftentimes it can be very hard to know what you've actually gotten until you open the documents or download them and view them. The internet has nearly quadrupled in size since the advent of Archie and Veronica, and their search routines can be overwhelmed by the sheer amount of available resources on any one topic. As an alternative form of internet searching, a company called Thinking Machines developed WACE for Wide Area Information Search. WACE is actually software that's loaded into an individual online database that creates an index of each word in every file of that server. Once you access a WACE server, you can run a keyword search to uncover all of the references to your keywords in that database in the actual text itself. There are a couple of methods of finding Waste servers. There's Waste software for both the Macintosh and the PC that are dedicated to Waste browsing, and they function similarly to my Gopher client. But I discovered that what really works best is accessing the master Gopher server at the University of Minnesota to do Waste searching. Rather than using special Waste software, your Gopher client is really all you need. Here, I'll show you. Let's reload Turbo Gopher and go back to the Master Gopher menu page. Go up to Gopher and another Gopher. And remember, we typed in gopher2.tc.umn.edu. Now, we've been here before. Remember this? First, click on Other Gopher and Information Servers. And as you remember, here's the gateway to Veronica. And here are the Gopher servers categorized by continent. And here we are, waste-based information. This is a little known way to get at waste, and it's sure to speed up your searching. Clicking on this takes us to a new set of menus. The first you'll see is an alphabetical listing of all of the 700 or so waste servers around the world. As you cruise through them, you may be able to tell by their names what some of these databases contain. For instance, Urban Research or Vietnam. Others are a little bit more mysterious. Here's EH Orders and EC Enzyme. It, again, this may be a fun way to surf the net, but not necessarily a practical way to find what you're looking for. There's currently no way to search all of waste space. So if you're looking for something in particular, you've got to try to determine which of these servers house the information you require. Not an easy task. Another way to go is by alphabetical sorting. Let's back up to the previous page. And remember, this is done by clicking on the box up here in the corner. And this time, we'll select all waste databases sorted by letter. I'll click on that. And here we are. Now, in order to use this effectively, you have to think first in broad categories, not a specific topic. For example, if you were doing some research on, say, DNA, you might not find it under D, simply because there isn't a database dedicated solely to DNA. But if you look under B for biology, come down the alphabetical list, and here we are a biology journal server. Now if we click on this, a search box opens that looks just like Veronica. In it, you can enter your keywords. In this case, you need not worry about and, or, and other search parameters. Waste will search the contents of every file in the database looking for any reference to your word or words, either in combination or separately. Here, let's enter DNA in the dialog box. Remember that waste searches are not case sensitive, and let's see what we can find. Now, the cool thing about waste searches is that the return list is not in a random order like Archie and Veronica. Instead, waste ranks search results for you. 
In other words, the first return in the list will have the most references or hits to your keywords, the second, the second most, and so forth. They're graded on a scale from one to a thousand. So the best return is at the top of the list because it returned a score of a thousand. In other words, it had the most hits with the other returns listed in descending order. While it's not an actual count of matched words, this system of ranking will give you an indication of how closely the responses hit the mark. And here we are. Here are the documents on this database with references to DNA. Now, while this first one may have the most hits, it may not be the DNA topic you're interested in. So hunt around. Just because it isn't near the top doesn't mean it isn't of potential interest. Of course, clicking on any one of these will open the document. If you want to save the document or copy any of its information, use your file and edit tools up here in the pull-down menus. Okay, remember that these are the responses on this single database. There may be other databases that contain more topical information. So if you haven't found what you want, return to the B's by backing up and look for other biology databases. <laughs> what? There's only two. That really can't be. Well, remember from our search through all of the servers, some of them have peculiar names. In other words, just because a server isn't named biology doesn't mean it doesn't contain biology information. So let's go back to the main waste page. And here's a sort by subject listing. This is a new and experimental cross-reference of waste servers by category that I personally recommend. Let's click on this and then subject tree. And what we'll get is the first level of menu categories. And here we are, mathematics and natural sciences. We'll double click on that. And here's biological sciences. We'll double click on that one. And great. Now we'll select biology. And as I suspected, there are a lot of servers with references to biology. But take a look at this one. You'd never be able to tell by JTCA that that contains information about biology. But take a look at this one, molecular biology. I'll bet it contains some really good stuff. Now, waste can certainly be a more efficient way to locate the resources you want on the internet, but there's still one more search tool, certainly the most powerful, the World Wide Web.